There we go. Brownie on the dropper. There we go. There we go. The uh, pink beaded waltz. Had quite a bit of hike in here. I was gonna fish um, a tailwater that I love in Virginia, but uh, with all the rain that we've had here in the state, they've got uh, the floodgates open and it's really high. And that's the beauty. You can get up in these mountain freestones and they clear out pretty quick. So that's a great thing about fishing in the mountains. You can always kind of pivot to something else. I've, uh, I think I've caught four already, little wild brownies. Caught one brookie, uh, and I got a dry dropper on. I've had like four hits on the dry, but I've missed them all. But it does look like a good day. There's a lot of bugs in the air, and it's so nice to be fishing without a bunch of layers on. It's about 52 right now. It's gonna get in the upper 50s. It's just really nice. I, spring is definitely in the air. As a matter of fact, today's the second Day of spring. Oh, that was nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good nice brownie. Wasn't uh, such an artful way to catch it. But it's cool we hit the hit the dry. That's a nice brownie for this creek. Really nice. There you go. Beautiful color. That brownie was right in front of that rock. I mean I had my I had my dry come right down and right in front of that rock. It darted out from underneath it and nailed it. That's pretty sweet. Just remember when you're fishing. And you've got these big boulders, that upstream side of that boulder, that is always a really great spot. A lot of people want to pick it up before it almost hits that rock, but let it go right to the rock. A lot of them hang. Oh, there we go. That's a nice fish right there. That's a real nice fish. Wow. Let's get up in this pool. That is a real nice fish. For this creek, nice. What a beautiful trout here, guys. Woo. What a beauty for this creek. That is a beautiful fish for this creek. Wow, look at that. That's a great trout anywhere. That is a great trout anywhere. That is just awesome. Look at that guy. Boy, that is a solid 14, 15 inch fish. Beautiful. That was awesome. That's a trophy for this creek. Fantastic. Oh, I just saw one go after my dropper. I saw a flash of gold. It's funny. Just shows you my dry, my dry never even moved. I just saw the flash. So just think about how many hits you miss. Just to, it just shows you it's just in the mouth and right back out. Where this brownie just came up and nailed the dry. That was an awesome, awesome strike. Came halfway out of the water. That was awesome. Really cool. Good looking fish too. Good looking brownie. 
this car marks. I go through a process. I've got my cloth, I got a, a drying cloth, a chamois. I squeeze all the water out of it. And then I have, it's the legs from a Pat's rubber legs. It's a good little hack right here. Just put that dry, hook the dry through it, and it gets all that water off. And you can see that's a CDC fly, it's completely dry now. But you can use a rubber band, but the rubber bands, the sun, the sun, uh, uh, you know, they, it breaks the rubber band down. Eventually they break, but this is the legs from a Pat's rubber legs. I can't, I want to call them silly legs, but that's not it. But I'll put it in the description, but this has been on my uh, lanyard for over a year and it's just a great, great thing. When you're working little creeks like this, little mountain creeks, I mean, especially when that water starts warming up, they can really be anywhere. What I tend to see a lot, just like a large stream, when you get a lot of hat bugs coming off, they tend to move out of the deep, there's a nice deep pocket behind that boulder there, they tend to move out into the shallow flat just before the next waterfall because it's just a great area for them to catch all the bugs coming down, the nymphs and the dries. <laughs> it looks really good up there. You've got that shade line right there. There's a little depth and that side bank eddy. And then you've got that nice riffle with probably a foot and a half, a di foot and a half deep. And even that behind that rock there, it's really nice because I like the moving water in the eddies behind the rock. Not, necessar not necessarily the still water, but the moving water. It's really nice. But let's push this to the right first. There we go. That's a brookie. Oh, I have no room to work. Come on, old baby. Good looking rookie. You see that rock right there? My rod's 10 feet long. So it's probably 15 feet in front of me. Just on the other side of that rock. Nailed it. Little olive. I don't know if you can see them right there. About 516. There's a caddis larva right there. A couple caddis in there. A lot of caddis in this creek. A lot of olives, a lot of caddis. It looks like a really nice, I love these plunge pools that slow down, but have some moving water. And there's some depth right behind those two big rocks between that chute over there. But there's a nice tail out here too. There we go. Whoa, hang on. <laughs> Spirited. Spirited brown trout. Little sucker got me all tangled. Okay, it's got some depth.
There we go. A little brown. Thank you, Mr. Brown. This area, you see that sunny area right there? Some depth there. You got this nice chute coming down there. I do expect a fish to be there. I like to work this riffly water until I get to the <clears throat> meat of the hole there. There we go. <laughs> Boy, they're really coming up for that dry now. <clears throat> That's the thing about a stream like this. They're just, they're very opportunistic. And when that water warms up, they're just, they are looking up. They're always hungry in here. That's why sometimes it really doesn't matter what dry fly you have on because they're just opportunistic. But a caddis is always a good bug. Always a good dry. I gotta get it over in the middle. <clears throat> More left, there we go. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> he took the waltz. Little brownie. For my dropper, I'm using a, uh, it's a size 18 pink beaded waltz worm. <laughs> Really love that bug. It's like a really nice area right here. Just want to get it in place. Some trees behind me. Depth here, this is nice. Work this edge to the right. Look at that. I saw, <laughs> I saw that guy literally rise up from the bottom. It's so cool. I know they ain't big, but damn. That was a little brookie. So cool. I saw that fish literally rise up from the bottom and grab it. So cool. Look at that. There we go. Little brownie. Pink beaded waltz. Boy, that just shows you. Now, he was just on the other side of that chute over there. My dry was drifting down, and it honestly looked like it got stuck. It just went, and it just stopped. And that just shows you. A lot of people, when they're fishing dry dropper, they expect that fly just to yank under. And it can be the slightest movement, just stopping, maybe just moving to the side. But you got to strike every time, and that was the perfect example. Well, I don't know if you can see it on a camera. Just loaded with blue winged olives. Size 18s to, good lord, size 30. <laughs> Just loaded. Really, really cool. 
I don't know if you can see those bugs. Tons of them. I just saw one rise right in the middle over there. I'm going to get one out of here. I don't want to say guarantee, but I guarantee it. <laughs> just put myself out on a limb there. There's a lot of depth up at the head there. Tons of depth. Over here to the left looks pretty amazing also. There we go. There we go. That was cool watching him rise up. Not big fish, but damn, this is fun. Little brownie. Look at that. Right there, just one rose. I got a nice fish on right here. Come on. Oh boy. Nice brownie. Oh, mother. Mother, mother, mother. <laughs> Damn. That was a 14 incher. Mm. Got me around that rock. I hooked him right up in there. So I took my dry off because this is really deep and I put two 2.3 beads on. Hooked him right on the edge of that plunge. And oh, damn, that was a hell of a nice fish. Got me all jacked up around that rock. That was a good one. There we go. There we go. Whoa, nice. Nice brownie. Nice jumping brownie. Love that. Love having to take the net out. There we go. It's a good one for this stream. Look at that. There you go. Nice brownie. Love when they hit those dries. This stream is made for dry dropper. Just love this. It's really nice. This has some depth. Looks really, oh, look at that. Oh man, he freaking hammered it. Let's see if I can get him again. He hammered it. Oh, it's a good fish. It's a nice fish. Look at him right there. You see him right there? Watch this. Watch this. There he goes. Ah, that's a 12 incher. That's all right. A lot of technical difficulties. Tree, uh, rod getting hung up in the tree above me and all kinds of stuff going on. All kinds of bugs in the water now. They're off. He nailed it. Nailed the dropper. There we go. Get him back up in his hole. Oh, did you see that now? <laughs> he came out from that rock. Let me net him.
Nailed the dry. Nailed it. There you go. So that rock right there, I let my bug almost scrape it. I mean, my dry fly was just on the edge and he shot straight out from it. And I say it all the time. <clears throat> the best spot, when you see these boulders and rocks in the river, the best spot is right next to it, either in front of it or scraping up on the side of it. And a lot of times, I mean, you can do, you can, it, your cast can be six inches away and they're not gonna hit it. But when you scrape that rock, they're right on that edge or actually underneath it and boom, they're gonna nail it. That was a great hit. There we go. Pick a dropper. Nice fish. Nice fish. That's a great fish over here. Pink bead right on the tip. Nice. Thanks, Mr. Brownie. Just off the edge of that current in that slower water. My drive barely moved on that one. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Got him on the reel. Nice fish. Nice, nice fish. Wow, what a beautiful brown that is. What a beautiful brownie. That brownie came on the other side of that current, right on the edge. Just, what a day. A lot of eager fish. What is a deep pool here? Yeah. There we go. Jeez. Oh, I was expecting a hog to come out of there. <laughs> but we got a nice little brookie. How about that? Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that was so awesome. That was a nice brownie too. They aren't farting around when they hit this dry today, that's for sure. They are not farting around. There we go. That dry barely moved. Barely moved. Pretty little brookie. God, they were just beautiful, beautiful fish, those brook trout. So I'm gonna be calling it quits today. Uh, just a fun day. Um, second day of spring, it was absolutely beautiful. I put my hiking boots on and hoofed it back into the forest and um, ended up having this absolutely beautiful stream all by myself, which was really cool. Um, you know, it was just, just probably upper 50s today there was a lot of bugs I, I i did dry dropper all day long and uh it was pretty cool i probably caught 70 percent of my fish on uh the dry which was a dark done corn fed caddis and then my dropper was a size 18 pink beaded waltz uh <clears throat> caught that beautiful brownie that is an absolute trophy for the stream it was at least 15 inches had another one on the same size at least uh Caught a couple 12 inchers and some 10 inchers. A lot of small fish, but just a blast out here. And I did catch probably, I don't know, eight or so small brookies. Most of them are browns today, but just, I caught a ton of fish. Um, I tell you, when you get on these freestone mountain streams, just these things are made for dry dropper. These fish are so opportunistic. 
Um, they're always looking up, especially as soon as that water starts warming up. So just, uh, if you want to go out and have a blast, get on these mountain free, free stones and uh, just throw a dry dropper. You, you'll have a ball. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, just, just saw a fish rise right there. <laughs> Might have to hit it before I leave. Um, yeah, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate all the support this channel is getting. Um, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. And uh, until next time, everybody, tight lines. See you later.